You know, there's so many great places to fish in the PA Wilds region. Hicks Run is one of the more popular ones. Reason being, there's a lot of public access here, basically from the main highway all the way up to where the east and the west fork split off. This area has about probably two to three miles of excellent public access where you can park right alongside the highway and walk right in and have an opportunity to catch tons of fish. Fishing for another golden on Hicks Run and a rainbow snaked me. Oh my gosh. John's on. Nice. Yep. Good one. That's why they call you first cast John. Did you catch one every time? First cast. First cast. Then I don't catch anything for the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Out here in the PA Wilds region, just past some elk up on the road. And we pulled off. We're hitting some rainbow trout. Just like that. Little slice of heaven up here. Another bow. Now we see this golden back here. The golden hasn't reacted at all. People have probably been fishing for him all day, but John's all over these rainbows. Yep. Usually when you find a golden, there's gonna be some rainbows close by them. They just like to school up next to the big guys. That's yeah. where I picked this one up. Easy buddy, easy. Settle, settle down, we'll let you go. See ya. Oh my gosh. It wasn't the golden you wanted, no, I'm but it's to a fish for that golden, but consolation I'll take prize. a rainbow, yeah. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, not a bad fish. Check this huh? out, no way. Take this any day. Any good, day. Good rainbow. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Really good nice fish. rainbow, yeah. Beautiful golden. Beautiful. No way. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him, alligator roll, John. Listen to that. Listen no to that. No way, John. He's pushing him hard. Look at that drag. Look at that. Careful, bro. I got him. Just right out of the current. Look at that fish. What a beautiful gold. Beautiful red stripe. Oh my gosh, he's going nuts. He's going nuts. This fish annihilated the bait. Watch that tree above you, John. There's a line hanging off it. You might be about ready now, though. Come on, buddy. Come on. Welcome to Potsky Outdoors. Yes, sir. Welcome <laughs> to Potsky Outdoors. It's a giant. John catches a giant, folks. Oh, my God. It's huge. Hell, yeah. All right. We're in the PA Wilds here. Got a nice golden. Got him on Natural Deluxe. Bouncing off the bottom. He came out, woke up, and hammered them. All right, guys, so we're in the PA Wilds region today. Now you saw that I caught, I caught a golden. I haven't caught one in a, quite a while. I've had a pretty pretty good idea of what I was gonna do to catch it. And of course, Natural Deluxe, baby. I've been singing this song forever. Natural Deluxe is my absolute favorite salmon egg aposki. Now, I'm gonna show you my rig to start. I have a size 12 posky fire hook on there. And I love these fire hooks because put that egg on there say you just put one see how it almost covers that entire hook it helps hide it and I think that was a pretty big factor in catching that golden today I have four pound fluorocarbon leader I have about maybe a foot and a half two feet of it one sinker two sinker three sinker barrel swivel I have three of them so those sinkers would take my salmon egg closer to the bottom and quicker and that was crucial for fast water fast deep water where that golden was because i had to cast and get that bait down to him quick enough so he had time to react and take it i also have a little heavier sinker right above the barrel swivel it certainly helps and earlier today when i was using a potsky fire float i was catching some nice rainbows with that but what i did for the golden which is one of the best things about this fire float. I have it real cinched on there. One of the best things about these fire floats is if you want to take a float off, all you got to do, sift the line through the little crack and you're good. 
Oh my god. He's fighting. Yes, he is. <laughs> Rapid current. Golden. Yeah. Oh, look at that golden right there. A whole other one. That one's significantly smaller. Ooh. I got one. Oh, I thought it was the gold. Oh, it's a brownie. Wow, that's, that's a, a pretty one. Nice rainbow. Oh my gosh. Really nice. Another really nice rainbow. Oh my gosh. Most of the fish we caught today were rainbows. Now, we did catch a brown or two, and we also saw many goldens. You see John catch a massive golden right in this video. Now, we only had about two hours to spare here. And we came over on a day where it was raining, it was wet, it was muddy everywhere. It was just a kind of god awful spring day that, oddly enough, there were a lot of people here. You know, we fished from probably 5.30 to 7.30, almost dark, and had trouble finding places to fish. There were just that many people out there. However, there's a reason for that. PA Fish and Boat Commission does a great job stocking these trout here. They do it three times a year is what we're told. And it's a place that is just so close to so many different communities that it's highly visited. And again, being in the PA Wilds region, you get people from two and a half hours away from Pittsburgh and Harrisburg, and some come all the way from four to five hours away in the greater Philly area. It's just one of PA's most beautiful places to go. Now, our fish today came on mostly natural deluxe salmon eggs. You'll see Every fish that John caught, including this massive golden we just got to show you again, we were so proud of catching it, came on those, as they call them, natties here in Pennsylvania with a fire float. Now, Jared, on the other hand, focused on using an old staple, green label with basically a fire hook and a fire float. Now, these guys walked up and down and did all they can to try to find areas that weren't completely overwhelmed by people. Today was a Thursday, midweek on a rainy day, and that many people were here. It just shows you what kind of pressure this fishery gets. Now, it's also very heavily fished by people in the greater St. Mary's, Dubois, Clarion area, as well as other small communities nearby. Uh, luckily, there's some great holes. If you get around and walk around, go check out places that aren't roadside, you'll have a great chance of catching quality fish, just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.